Hi and welcome. This is a metaphor about going beyond the mind into the pure presence that exists there, just observing with unconditional love that which are our universal or divine part within us. The mind consists of thoughts and emotions that are moving all the time. You can use the metaphor that our thoughts and emotions which the mind is made of are moving across our consciousness like the waves are moving across the sea. It is easy to get attached to too much focus on the thoughts and feelings since you notice them so much when they are moving. In spite of that our consciousness are immensely much greater than our minds just as the sea is immensely much greater than the waves. The waves are located just on the surface of the sea and our thoughts and emotions which the mind is made of are located just on the surface of our consciousness. So what can be done to calm the waves of the mind? If you put up a resistance against them and try to stop them, it is like you have placed a big rock in the path of the waves and it will not work. They will just flow around the obstacle or rock and there will be new ripples. And it is the same if you try to fight against or fight with them. Metaphorically, you are throwing stones on the waves. The waves will continue and the rocks will also create ripples. Some people try to solve the problem with having waves by creating more waves, by acting out the waves even more. This can give an endorphine high, but you are still in the mind and haven't moved beyond it to the greater consciousness. All new waves you create will sooner or later come back to you. The second you surrender and allow your higher consciousness to take over, you have moved beyond the mind. We are all energetically connected to each other, like drops which are part of the same sea. And because of that, every new wave you create will get to the person you are sending them to, even if you only do it in your mind at a distance. So therefore it is best to send loving waves, because you will be karmically responsible for what you send out to others, and every karma must sooner or later turn around, so the same kind of waves will come back to you. And most of the time if a person awakens a negative feeling or thought in you, the reason has to do with something you have experienced earlier in your life or something else that the person has nothing to do with at all. So the best is to not focus on other people at all and just focus on sending love to yourself and your situation. Then you can dissolve it without creating new pointless karmas with others. Our greater consciousness is a sea of pure, observing, unconditional love. This is the energy that exists within everything, creates everything and even dissolves the forms that is not beneficial for us. With time the sea will break down even the biggest rocks. Our metaphorical sea is observing unconditional love. But the sea is also a part of every wave. There is an energy of observing unconditional love that you can find within every feeling and thought that makes the waves. You just have to observe them close enough.
to go beyond the mind into the pure presence of observing unconditional love, you do just that. You go into the pure presence of observing unconditional love. And then you just observe the waves and that which creates them, totally without resistance to them. Just observe with friendly acceptance what is there, without trying to do anything to change the energy. Choose to have the attitude that this is just an energy that you are experiencing as an adventure. Feel everything fully. When you don't engage your personality in trying to change anything and just observe unconditionally, then your greater consciousness, the observing unconditional love, can come through and start to dissolve and calm the waves. Just allow and receive this. The way things works here on earth is that what you are focusing on, you receive more of. If you put your focus on the stones and the waves, you will experience more of the stones and the waves. If you put your focus on the bigger sea, that is the greater consciousness, you will experience more of the greater consciousness. So put your focus on the greater consciousness of observing unconditional love and receive it and allow it to heal and balance everything without you trying to do anything. If you put your focus amongst the waves, you will experience them as big and overwhelming and something you are a victim of. If you instead put your focus deep down in the sea of observing unconditional love, you will experience the waves as something that's just moving across the shallow surface and don't affect you much at all. Everything depends on where you put your focus. This is what the Holy Feminine is about. To be able to be present and allow your greater consciousness to take over without you stepping out into your mind to do or act. When you can allow things to happen from your greater consciousness, much better things can manifest in your life than if you let your personality try to create everything. This doesn't mean that you never should do anything. You do the things your greater consciousness guides you to do. Sometimes setting boundaries can be the absolutely most loving thing to do. The important thing is to choose not to hold a judgmental attitude when you do it. Choose love even then. Pay close attention and listen to the soft, loving voice in the depth of your heart all the time. Most people have chosen a male or young expression without being conscious of it since so far that is the part that have had most support in our society. The Holy Feminine is Yin. It is stillness, the opposite of activity. It is not to express but to receive. To receive and allow the Divine to be expressed through you and allow it to heal everything that needs to be healed in the light of the highest spiritual. As long as you do, you are still in the mind. When you stop 
doing and are, you have gone beyond the mind and can be one with the divine since it exists there. If you are in the divine and receive, every blocking will be dissolved in the most joyful, loving way for everybody involved if you just allow this to happen. When your personality try to do, you are blocking the flow and can only create things that are limited by the mind since you are trying to do in the mind. You are trying to let your personality to solve things instead of handing it over to your divine self which you get access to when you are in stillness. To be spiritually limitless you need to go beyond the mind into the direct presence. When you can let your greater consciousness be the boss and your mind be the servant instead of as earlier allow the mind to be the boss who's trying to get the greater consciousness to be the servant then you can start to use your mind as a tool instead of something you are a victim of. All blockings you have exist because on some level your personality and mind are holding them there. Your greater consciousness is always trying to help you to let go and dissolve your blockings in the most loving way possible. You just need to contact your greater consciousness so you can feel its energy and then allow it to help you. You don't need to know how the blockings will be healed. You just hand it over to your greater consciousness and allow it to happen. Every insight you may need to heal permanently will come to you then, either at the time or at a later time when you need it. Sometimes when a lot is happening around us, so there is more waves on our sea, it can feel harder to go beyond the mind into the greater consciousness. One way that can be good then is to focus on what comes up most in your awareness that you perceive as a problem. It is almost like you are zooming in on just this energy and then observe it with friendly acceptance at the same time as you are feeling all the feelings without resistance to them. Soon you will notice that they start to transform and then you often start to get aware of how the blocking or the situation was created and when you continue to observe it with love you can get insights about if there is something you need to do to release it or get insights about if there has been a misunderstanding and so on and then it can heal. When you focus on the waves a little closer, you can notice that even these waves are made of the same water as the rest of the sea, so you can find the observing unconditional love again.